it's a combination <laughs> of many things, but uh, to make a list, the ones I see uh, is like flexibility, agility, dynamic scaling, no vendor lock-ins, and of course, lower CAPEX and OPEX. But essentially, I would say they want software defined everything so that they can dynamically shift and evolve their business as needed, when needed, via disaggregated and software defined transmission nodes, high fiber capacity, virtualized access and virtualized core networks, as uh, Neil was mentioning, Emre was mentioning. And many might want to be like the, by the way, the well-known Japanese MNO. I won't mention the name, but you, I think you already know, but it's not often you see new uh, greenfield operators popping up and having the opportunity to build their networks from scratch with zero leftovers of legacy. But this Japanese entity, for the sake of uh, full-blown digital transformation, they have built everything from scratch everything from scratch with their own technology. And they even have gone as far as productizing their core as a fully virtualized cloud native network service service available globally to carriers and enterprises. This was too good to be true two years ago, but now it's happening. And I think this is what ultimately, again, answering your question, this story of this Japanese mobile operator is, I think this is what they should want more than anything else. Okay. I think that is the way to cope up with the uh, threat coming from the hyperscalers and the OTTs. Mm -hmm.